Hey everyone! Today I'm going to teach you how to do a spooky eyeball drawing. Now what you're going to need for this project is a piece of paper, a pencil, a sharpie, and color pencils. Preferably black and whatever color you're going to color your eyeball. And red. So, let's get started. So, since it, we're going to be making kind of a spooky eyeball, we're just going to draw the actual eyeball, not the eyelid or anything like that. And our eye is actually going to take up most of our paper. So, I'm going to be drawing a fairly large circle. So, I'm starting off by drawing really, really lightly with my pencil. And I'm just going to keep kind of sketching until I like the way my eye looks, or my, my circle looks. All right, so there, I'm liking that circle. So then what I'll do is kind of take my pencil and draw a little bit darker of an outline around. Now when you're first, so always start out with your pencil marks being really light, so then you can go back and erase them a lot easier. So I'm gonna erase these excess lines and I'm going to wipe away my pen my eraser so next we're going to be drawing our iris that is the part of our eye that has color so we're going to be drawing a smaller circle inside of our eyeball so I'm going to once again lightly with my pencil kind of sketch out a circle and I like the size of this so I'm going to Go ahead and erase some of these extra lines. So I have a circle, so I have a decent amount of space. So this area is gonna be the white of our eyes and this is going to be the part of our eye that has color. So next we're gonna do one more little circle in the middle. Now this is gonna be our pupil. This is that black circle in our eye that can dilate, which means it gets bigger and smaller depending on how dark a room is or if we're, what we're looking at. So I'm kind of shading this in because this is going to be very, very dark. But I'm going to go back in with my eraser and I'm going to make a small rectangle with my eye. That's going to be a little light reflection. That's going to make it look a little more realistic. I'm also going to do a tiny little circle this is just going to make our eye look a little more realistic. So we are done with our eye sketch. Our next step we're going to do is we're going to start shading in the color of our eye. So you can do, if you have brown eyes, you can do a brown eye. If you have blue eyes, you can do blue, green, or hazel. So I have blue eyes. I'm going to use these two colors. So this is a kind of a little turquoise, and then this is a greenish blue color. So starting out with the greenish blue, I'm going to lightly go back and forth and shade in the circle that is supposed to be my iris. So notice I'm really lightly shading. I'm not pressing down hard with my pencil. I'm getting our base color in there. So then what I'm going to do is take my pencil and I'm going to push a little bit harder and I'm going to kind of make an outline around my iris. Now we want this iris to look very blended. So I'm kind of pushing a little bit harder but not too hard. And we're going to be building up layers of color. You can do the same thing around your pupil. You want to add a little bit darker. Now I'm going to go in with my other color. So if you have brown, you might want to use a brown and a yellow color together. Or with green eyes, you can do a dark and a light green. Whatever colors, but it's really good to get a good, kind of more realistic blended iris. It's really nice to overlap two colors on top of each other. So all I'm doing is going back and forth with my pencil and lightly shading in my iris. You don't want to add too much pressure. 
Don't press too hard with your color pencil because that's not going to be what we want. We want to gradually build up color. So you're going to keep on shading until we have a realistic looking iris. So I'm going to keep on adding a little extra color to the outside. So I'm shading this. This is called value when you have a lightness and a darkness of a color. So I want my darker value to be on the outer part of my iris. So notice how I'm not pressing really hard with my pencil. I am just lightly building up color. Now I'm going to add a little bit of this darker color. I'm going to shade a little bit extra kind of in the middle of my iris. Not at the edge, but just in the middle. So I'm going to keep doing that. If you look closely at your eyes, a lot of times you can see that our eyes have different values. So I'm going to make it a little bit darker in the middle. So for this project, feel free to look at a picture of an eye for reference, or you can even look at your own eye. <coughs> Whatever you want. So I'll come back in a minute and we'll have this completely colored in. So just keep coloring and keep shading lightly until you've built up enough color.